Hey y'all, hey, welcome or welcome back to Tiffany with Purpose where I provide faith-based content with purpose and inspire you to do the same. I always share according to what the Lord places on my heart and today this is an encouraging word and I just want to walk you through how the Lord encouraged me in this yesterday. So on today is Saturday, on Thursday, um, one of my students comes to me and we were just talking about our favorite Psalms and she mentions Psalm 36. She's like, it's all about God's steadfast love. Well, that was a trigger for me because two weeks prior, I had fallen into a vision and in the vision, I was reading the word and it was about God's steadfast love. And I responded to the Lord in the vision, I'm ready for your steadfast love. And he was like, keep reading. And then the next line was like something about his steadfast love. And so I look at Psalm 136 and the whole thing is like, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. He is the Lord of Lords. His steadfast love endures forever. I am heavily paraphrasing. I think that there are about 25, uh, don't quote me on that. However many verses there are, however many lines there are in Psalm 136, every single one ends with his steadfast love endures forever. And so yesterday morning, I rewrote the Psalm. I think I kept the first three verses the same. And then I told from my own testimony, like the God who X, Y, Z for his steadfast love for endures forever. And I rewrote the Psalm from my own experience, because when you read it, it kind of goes through um, you know, him bringing the people out from Egypt and all of these things. I rewrote it for my own experience. I kept the three first three lines the same, and then I ended it with the same exact last line that is in Psalm 136. 100% 10 out of 10 recommend that you do that. It's just a really beautiful way to kind of commune with the Lord. And so I did that. And then I'm just like sitting with the Lord and I hear him say, be still, stay in position and watch me work. And immediately he reminded me of Jehoshaphat's prayer. But the night prior in Bible study, someone said something that made me think of Jehoshaphat's prayer. And I read it on, I read it during Bible study, but I went back to it just to kind of soak in it some more. And where the Lord had me read, I'm not going to read this on here. I don't have all of my things with me right now. The way this is set up, I don't make this video right now it's not coming out and so I just we just we just going with it so you guys read second chronicles chapter 20 definitely read the whole thing but where the lord had me stop specifically yesterday is like um basically all the way through to maybe verse 21 I think but it ends give thanks to the lord for his steadfast love endures forever. The people ended worshiping that psalm, basically. And so what happens in that um, Jehoshaphat's prayer, he prays to the Lord, basically petitioning him like, aren't you the God who did X, Y, Z? You are the God who d has done X, Y, Z. Like, basically, I believe that you are this God. We need you to move in this way. These people are coming up against them. And the Lord responds basically for them to be in position, right? That they didn't have to fight, that the battle belonged to the Lord, but they needed to be in position. And for them, that meant that they walked out to the battle, but they did not have to fight. And instead they had to worship. And what was their worship? Give thanks to the Lord for his steadfast love endures forever. And the Lord won the battle for them. You guys go read that second Chronicles chapter 20. Um, and so then I'm like flipping in my Bible. I was going to go to something. I don't, I, for, that doesn't matter. I was just in a study mode. And so I was looking for something in particular. My Bible stops and like just opens to a page where I had written a note to myself concerning these ver verses. The promise is still the promise. And it's Jeremiah 33. You want to read verses six through 11. This is what I had highlighted on this page. Well, here it is. The Lord saying, I am going to heal this thing. I'm going to restore it. I have watched whatever has happened occur and I have allowed it, but I'm going to bring it back to full restoration and I'm going to return the sound of laughter and I'm going to return all these things and I'm going to restore it back to what it originally was or what it was originally supposed to be. Well, in verse 11, here we go echoing that same verse, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, his steadfast love endures forever. And so 
I knew that they went together. I knew that they went together. This is what I am saying to you guys. One, I recommend that you go read that Psalm 136 and, um, you know, write your own song to the Lord modeled after um, that Psalm. And two, read Second Chronicles chapter 20 and second, I'm sorry, Jeremiah chapter 33 verses six through 11, just to meditate on those, read the whole thing, but to meditate on those, if this applies to you, if you are in a situation where it's just like, Lord, you have said a thing, I have believed you, I followed you in this, nothing is manifesting, if we want to say that word, nothing is, is seeming like is going on, but I still trust you. Like at this point, what you and I have been through, there's no reason for me not to believe or trust you in this area. And he's just like, be still, stay in position, stay ready. However, the Lord has told you to be ready um, and sit with him on that. What do you need me to do in this hour? Whatever he has instructed you to do, um, do those things. And that could be anything. Some of us, He's just told us to to rest, child, to rest. Just be still and know, to be in a season of rest. Um, maybe he's told you to pray more, like to pray more to him concerning the matter. Maybe he has told you to be filled up with his word, then do those things. Maybe he's given you specific actions. Then do whatever it is that he has told you to do, uh, whatever be in position looks like uh, between you and the Lord in your particular situation. Um, sit with him on that and just trust have faith this is in, this is encouraging he's still faithful he's still going to do exactly what he has said um and our job is just to keep our gaze on him what did they do they worship get into some war shit okay worship saves everything i'm gonna tell you any i feel like i say this a lot but it is the truth um many cases what a prayer could and maybe I don't have the words to pray if I just sing to the Lord if I just bring to the Lord remembrance of all the things that he has done and just how faithful he is and, and it becomes a song that just pours out things move and break and shake and all the things and it's just really beautiful but anyway this is what I have for you guys be still stay in position and watch the Lord work he is mighty he is faithful and he is sure to do exactly what he has spoken all right you guys be great in the strength of the lord until next time